back to the Legend of Zelda Menorah's Mask. Uh, last time we got started, and we got two heart pieces, Vader right the clock now. And now it's time to, um, time to uh, discover a glitch. If you back walk on that guard by pressing uh, Z, and then you can actually get out here early. You're not supposed to be here yet. The reason why I'm out here um, is because I need to go rookie for a minute. Because if you remember, that one guy at the bank said that if we got 200 rupees, then we would get the adult wall. This is a pretty quick way to do it. Also, even though you can get out here early, and you think that might lead to some good breaks, it won't actually, because, um, this game is actually very polished. Um, the game is only made in a year, because it was challenged by to a new mode, making Zelda game in a year, um, in a year. But this game is actually fairly polished, and you can't actually do anything yet. This sequence break is completely safe. I just want to be out here for rupees, because that's pretty much all you have to do. Also, I'm having trouble finding the grass, usually I can get like... I know there's a lot on the so... Now we're doing things like we hope that a new day is about to start. I'm actually going to stay next to the grass, because I'm pretty sure it reloads the area once the new day starts. There's usually supposed to be music out here, but again, it's supposed to be out here. Too. I'm getting rupees quite quickly here. So anyway, um, to kind of, um, uh, you know, make them talk about something. Um, this game has multiple versions. So obviously there's the original and the four version. Um, and then there's as many ports and also uh, the 3D version on the 3DS. So this game was re-released on GameCube as a part of the collection edition. Um, and that version was known to be not the best because it, um, while it ran at a higher resolution, um, the game crashed quite a lot, for some odd reason. Uh, however, if you turned off the world, then it actually removes all the factors. I don't know why, but it just does. Yeah. And then, it was re-released on Wii. And, um, it was pretty similar to the um, when it came to crashes. However, I, I, once again, I played through the Wii version, that's the main my playthrough the Nintendo 64 version, and I didn't have a crash a single time, so I guess you could say it's better than the Wii version, or really lucky. And the Wii U version is based off of that. However, the screen is actually slightly darker, which is what you're looking at right here. The game is not supposed to be this dark, it's just really freaking dark for some reason. But, um, this happens to all N64 games on Wii U, but for Majora's Mask, I actually kind of like it, because if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, by the school kids, this game is going to be a lot more serious, a lot more creepy than, um, any Zelda game before. So I think the darker screen actually kind of elevates that experience. Which is why I'm playing on the Wii U version. So now we can head back to Clock Town and deposit it and then get the extra ones because 99 plus 99 is 198. And that guy's a cheapskate. Um, he only accepts 
the specific amount that you need. Like, but, you know, the reason is that like, it kind of sucks that I have to make this trip and um, get to the movies. Like, it doesn't just give it to you. You notice the music's different. Every day, there's a different song for pop I'm forgetting that. I was playing up the Catherine Weiss, which is kind of like nice to make a screen. That's why I'm playing up the Catherine No. bomb shop. So pay attention to what this guy says. You can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. So if we can't use any of them, then why can I buy them? We got bombs! Uh, they're bombs. You can use them to explode things. Just like every other item, you can set them to a C button. Obviously, we can't use them as deck link, but we can still buy them. I usually like to do it as deck link, so that way I don't forget when I need them as regularly. Anyways, now that it's day two, we're actually gonna go back to that new game of play. And that's because a lot of the minigames are the George Max. Um, they're depending on the day. So, like, you get different rewards on different days, and the you know, kinds of minigames that you play on each location also change. So, this one already is going to be applied, however, the layout of the stage is actually different. I'll see you in a minute.
Now, I'm gonna try with just 10 rupees in my inventory, which means I'm like, well, actually, no, because you get rupees in the minigame, so I'm gonna have more than that, but, so, you know, we're just going to have more than that. I actually got all of them that time. Wow. Now, minigame, like the end, closes at specific times. And I'm pretty sure I just Pretty sure it stops. Except for the place in the world thing. So I'm cutting in a little close here, but, you know. Very risky of me, but I did it anyways. I'm gonna wait around for that one. Seven seconds. <laughs> the mind one not is actually not much else I can do on day two. So that's when um new feature. If you notice, there's a little scarecrows for um, the game. These scarecrows can actually skip time with you. Same thing that the bank does. He just has all these freaking Oh my god. I swear, I'm not doing it on purpose. Yes. Okay. Let's replace the lost wood. Mini 
My controller is almost dead, so... That's great. See, yeah, now I have to really rush. For uh, not great time. I'm um, George Mass 3D. So, 3D runs at 30 FPS while this game runs at 20. Um, also, uh, 3D has motion controls um, for its aiming, so whenever we're doing the bubble or bow or hook shot or whatever, uh, you have to use the analog stick. And the thing about the analog stick is that in the SEC4 controller, it has very interesting dead zones that match no other modern controller. Now, with a lot of finagling, you can actually get it to uh, be calibrated correctly, and that's what a lot of like the popular emulators do. 
However, um, most emulators and also these special standard releases don't do that. Um, and because of that, it's either you're not pressing it at all, or you're pressing it fully, making the aiming very shitty on emulated versions of this game. I would know, because, um, I, I played this game on the Wii, and now I'm doing it on the Wii U, and, um, there is a very, very interesting minigame later on called the Clock Town Shooting Gallery. And if you have watched any Let's Play in this game, you know, you know about the Clock Town Shooting Gallery. Because most people who play this game play on an emulator. Because the resolution is higher than on NC4. Well, you know, what's, what you're seeing right now is 480p. But the original N64 release was at 240p. So, um, a lot of people play on an emulator, either by Nintendo or a fan-made one. And, um, the, the meme, I think, was started by Charlie Conroy, but the, the class of the in the other has a reputation of being the hardest part of a Jorah's mask. And it's option- it's- thank god it's optional, but we're, we're still gonna do it in this game. Like, we're gonna do everything in this last play. Um, pretty much everything. I want- my goal is to get all the hard pieces. Which requires doing everything. Anyways, now... The Black Tower is a uh, lower that and also I just got a notification telling me that my battery level is low on my computer so um yeah both of those are fine six ah till we've been looking for you two Hey, Skull Kid, you can get back that mask you're wearing now. Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the fork over there. Bring it up here. Don't be out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing with my brother? Skull Kid, do you think that you're a friend after that? Oh, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Just look above me. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. important item in the game. You know, you would think, because this game's prequel is literally called The Ocarina of Time. So of course it would be important. Zella. Hell no. 
I could give a little girl voice, but it's gonna sound really weird. So instead, I'm just staying inside and make this scene more sentimental. The Ocarina of Time. Snap out of it. What are you doing, lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting the old Ocarina back isn't going to help us. Someone, everybody, stop the Please. He said it, man. Let's do it. That was great now. Wait. So, anyways, um. This one's gonna be a little shorter because everything's battery is low. But, uh, I guess. We're playing the song of time, and this is the only way to save, so that's why I was stressing out so much. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later.